Hi, my friends. So today we're going to be able to reread the book, Babies Can't Eat Kimchi, written and illustrated by Nancy Patz and Susan L. Roth. They are the authors and the illustrators. Their job when they are the author is to write the words and the illustrator's job is to make the pictures. That means Nancy Patz and Susan L. Roth work together as the authors and the illustrators to write the words and make the pictures. Remember, this book is all about how a baby is still too little to play with her big sister. We learned how to take care of babies, like carrying the babies. Another way that we can take care of babies is to rock them. Can you say this word with your family members? Say the word for rock. Now let's clap the word for rock to see how many syllables there are. Ready? Rock. There's one syllable in the word for rock. Now let's whisper the word for rock. Ready? Good job. And let's look at the picture for the word rock. We see that there is a mommy or another family member holding the baby sitting in a rocking chair. When we rock the baby, we are moving the baby back and fourth, to help it have a calm body. Can you put your arms together like you're holding a baby and rock the baby back and forth? When a baby is, is upset, we can rock the baby to help it feel calm and sometimes even go to sleep. And sometimes we can even just rock the baby if we want to show the baby that we care for them. Little babies like to be rocked more than bigger babies because as babies get bigger, and they grow older, they like to do things by themselves and play with different toys. So little babies like to be rocked more than bigger babies. And remember, little babies still cannot do many things, but as they grow, they will learn how to do more things. So let's get ready to read Babies Can't Eat Kimchi and see if this big sister can play with her little sister. Babies Can't Eat Kimchi by Nancy Patz and Susan L. Roth. Babies can't eat kimchi. Babies can't eat kimchi. Remember, yesterday we were learning about what kimchi is. It has lots of vegetables and it is very spicy. And they can't eat spaghetti or popcorn and they can't eat strawberry ice cream cones the way I can. Babies can't eat lots of things. Look at the illustration. Is What is the baby eating? The baby is drinking from a bottle because the baby is still too little to eat different food. They don't know how to dance like a ballerina the way I do. And they can't wear big girl dress up clothes. They don't even know what an elephant is or a tiger or a duck. And babies don't know that a snake says, hiss. Let's look at the illustrations and use our magnifying glasses. What can the big sister do, but the baby cannot? If the baby was upset, how do you think you could help the baby? If the baby wanted to wear dress up clothes, how could you help the baby? Could you be gentle and help the baby get dressed? Babies don't know lots of things. They don't know their colors, they won't wear their smocks, and sometimes they make a big fuss. Because they're very little. Babies can't do a lot of things because they are too little. If the baby was older and bigger, what are some of the other things that the baby could do? Turn and tell your family members. But babies get bigger, then I'll teach this baby to walk and look both ways at the corner. When we have ice cream, I'll teach her how to lick up the drips, and on her first birthday, I'll help her put on her special dress. Before we keep reading, let's make a prediction. So we've been reading about some of the things that the big sister can do, and now we know some of the things that she wants to teach her little sister. What do you think the big sister will want to teach the baby when she gets bigger? We read about learning how to walk, looking both ways, licking the drips on her ice cream cone. What are some other things you think the, the big sister will teach the baby sister? I will teach my baby to dance like a ballerina. 
will swing high. And do you know what else? Early in the morning, when everyone is sleeping, we'll whisper and read funny stories and play with our toys and laugh and eat kimchi if we want to. We'll sing songs. Baby, do you want me to teach you a song? If you were the big sister, what song would you teach your baby? Turn and tell your family members what song you would like to teach to a baby. Wah! Wah! Oh no, this baby is having a strong, uncomfortable feeling. What is this feeling that the baby is having? What do you think? The baby is feeling very upset. How do you know the baby is feeling upset? Turn and tell your family members when you look at the baby's face and body how you know the baby is upset. Well, maybe someday. So today we learned about a little baby, but when she gets bigger, what do you think she will be like as she gets older? Turn and tell your family members what you think. Little babies cannot do many things, but as they grow, they will learn how to do more things. The big sister in our story wanted to teach her baby sister lots of different things when she got older. What would you want to teach a baby? Would you want to teach a baby some of the same things or some different things? Turn and tell your family members. Okay, my friends, thank you for reading with me today. Bye.